The last verse of Psalm 2 ends with a pretty awesome phrase. Blessed are those who take refuge in him. Blessed or happy are those who take refuge in God. Refuge, you know, you take refuge in something, it means that it protects you. It means you're safe. You are blessed when you take refuge, when you look for protection from God. Just think about all the different people who are protected by God in the Bible. It's a, it's a lengthy list. Daniel was protected by God in the den of lions. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were protected by God in the flames of a furnace. God was actually right there in the flames with them. Adam and Eve were protected by God when they needed clothing to cover up their naked shame when they needed forgiveness to cover up their sinful shame. Go down the list of individuals who were healed by Jesus, helped by Jesus, raised from the dead by Jesus. There was a woman who had been bleeding for years who just reached out and touched Jesus. And suddenly, just the proximity of being close to Jesus was enough to protect her from something that had troubled her for so long. And that's something that you may notice as you go through the Bible and you think of all the different people that were protected by God and protected by Jesus or kept, kept safe. Or We know that they were protected, like their stories of protection are so great because they were all in trouble in some way. Or they were all troubled in some way. They were in need of something. They were in need of safety. They were in need of protection. They were in need of a friend. They were in need of forgiveness. They were in need of assurance. They were in need of comfort. They were in need of healing. They were in need of life. And God did not fail to give it to them. That reminds us of two very important things as it relates to our lives. One, you will sometimes be troubled. You will sometimes be eager for a friend and not finding one easily. You will sometimes be heavy-hearted. You may sometimes be in danger. You may sometimes be crushed by guilt, like Adam and Eve were. That may happen. That will happen. But number two, God will be your refuge. God will not fail to come through for you. He will not fail to love you. And the reason we know that, of course, is because because of the day when Jesus had no refuge, when no one protected him, not even his father, who loved him so much, not even a single angel who could have swooped down to that cross, pulled those nails out, and set him free. No one protected him that day from offering a sacrifice that will give you the ability to live each moment knowing that God's eyes are always on your existence and always with perfect love, always with a willingness to give and give and give whatever is needed to keep you close to him. He will not fail to be your refuge which is why you are, you are blessed. You are blessed when you see him as your refuge too. Rest well tonight, my friends.